Five Nights at Freddy's was originally supposed to end with an F-bomb. Yeah, in case you didn't know, I got to make a cameo in the FNAF movie. And in the lead up to my appearance, I got shared on two separate early versions of the script. This pink one right here, as well as the first ever version, a white one. Which means that I know things that were originally supposed to be in the movie and things that didn't make the cut. Some highlights? Well, did you know that the best kill in the movie originally wasn't supposed to happen? Yep, in the final version of the film, Maxine is bitten half by Freddy. But in the first script, she was originally slated to die in a pool of blue paint that got splattered around as she fought for her life. Or there's the fact that Afton was never meant to say his iconic, I always come back. In fact, there's not even a single mention of spring locks in that script. Instead, Afton is pinned down as the cupcake gets dropped into his yellow bunny suit. But probably the funniest change of them all, there is gonna be an F-bomb. Yep, in a mid credit sequence, Corey X. Kenshin picks up a new passenger in his cab. I said, read the su- that all stayed the same, but Corey's reaction did not. As originally scripted, this is how it went. Balloon Boy's grinning face fills the screen. Horror and incomprehension from the cabbie. Hysterical shriek, what the f- 